Major League Baseball season wrapped up this week and the playoffs are underway. Here to give us his thoughts is new SNL cast member Marcelo Hernandez. Yes, thank you! Thank you, New York! Thank you, Colin! What's up, Marcelo? So, are you a baseball fan? Uh, well, Colin, you know, my mom is from Cuba and my dad is from the Dominican Republic, so obviously they're divorced. Um, <laughs> But it also means I love baseball. You know, Latinos dominate baseball. And I'm not saying we're naturally better. I'm just saying we're more fun to watch. I mean, who would you rather watch play baseball? Tanner from Kentucky? Or a guy that they call Papi and no one knows why? <laughs> this guy got so good at his job, everyone started calling him dad. Like Colin, has anybody here ever called you daddy? I'd, I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about? Well, what about like Aaron Judge, right? He just hit his 60-second home run, set the AL record. Yeah, I think it's impressive, Colin, but there just wasn't enough emotion for me. He hits his 60-second home run, puts the bat down gently, and then it's a couple of high fives and straight to the dugout. When a Dominican guy hits a home run, Colin, he throws the bat to a different dimension. And once he gets to home plate, he thanks everyone he's ever encountered. He's like, thank you to my mother and my sister and my father and that one guy from the bodega that gave me that papita that one time. Everything changes when they bring out the Dominican guy. The American announcer who's been speaking English the whole game gets an accent all of a sudden. Now this guy named Jeff is like, and now coming to the plate, from Santo Domingo, Starling Marte. Cue the merengue music. Even the white guys in the crowd are like, tuku, tuku, tinka, tan, kan, kun, kan. Then this guy comes up and he pulls a chain out of nowhere. He tells the pitcher to relax. And then he brings Jesus into it. He's like, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then once he gets to batting, Colin, it's all hips. Do you feel that, Colin? I'm pretty sure I feel it, yeah. Everyone in the crowd is pregnant by the time he's done batting. And the post-game interviews are different, Colin. White guys are so boring. They're always talking about the game. It's like, we had a game plan, and we executed it. But I bet uh, Latin guys do it different. Don't do that, Colin. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> but yes, it is very different. After a baseball game, Latin guys, if they do get a sentence off in English, it's not about the game. The reporter is like, what was going through your head on that 3-2 slider? And then Ramon is like, man, I love Miami, man. <laughs> the weather, the people, the food is amazing. <laughs> and if you notice, Colin, they really only speak English until they lose patience. You know, you ask them a loaded question and they go, well, for this season, uh, I think that... Uh, Nah, hay que estar enfocado, porque si no nos enfoca, no nos va a salir bien. Marcelo Hernández, everyone.